a cheese is not just a cheese at Cowgirl Creamery. It's a triple cream, and we wash the rind, and washing the rind allows a natural bacteria to attach to the rind, gives it a more pungent flavor. Delicious. Yeah. There's tremendous pride in making the cheese. And selling it. It's got a lot of different flavors going on. The pride comes from the quality of the cheese and Cowgirl Creamery's commitment to work solely with local organic farmers. Come on in, they're, they're just about to add the rennet. What started as a two-person marketing company in 1997 has evolved into a creamery. Three retail stores a distribution arm, and a staff of 80, 18 of whom are cheesemakers. She's already added the cultures to the pasteurized milk, and the next thing that's going to happen is she'll add the rennet, which is the coagulating agent. Calgary Creamery started as a, a marketing company for local goods, primarily cheese and dairy. I did that for three years, and then I grabbed Peggy. She was working at Chez Panisse as a chef, and that's how it started. We wanted to promote the food that is grown and made here in an effort to help save farms from uh, going out of business. And then we couldn't help but make our own cheese. Because mm -hmm. you've got a lot of moving parts. We have the with. retail, we have wholesale distribution, and manufacturing. This is the San Andreas. Cowgirl Creamery makes 300,000 pounds of cheese per year and distributes to over 400 retail stores and 500 restaurants across the country. They're especially popular with restaurants for how they sell their cheese. What we do is we'll break cases or we'll cut big wheels of cheese and sell five pounds to a restaurant if that's what they're going to need. A lot of people who are in the wholesale business don't have the options of selling half wheels but that's also where our retail shops come in. What's not sold to restaurants and retail stores is sold at Cowgirl Creamery's counter, alongside 60 cheeses made by other small producers. Wow. That is good. Really, really good. But being organic does have its unique challenges. The government regulations are a challenge. The FDA, USDA, the... Um, organic certifier, the health department, all of these bureaucrats are in here inspecting our facility. It adds a lot of cost and if you have a small production, you know, it's the same cost as a large production. The recession also hit the company hard, slowing down its growth significantly. We've been flat during the recession. We haven't grown. We've grown 2% instead of 20%, which is our normal rate of growth. We're always catching up with the cash flow. Banks have not been interested in loaning us money. And with reduced cash flow, Cowgirl was forced to make significant adjustments. We froze all wages and salaries. They've been frozen for about a year. And we did temporarily freeze our 401k. We didn't lay anyone off. The company's commitment to sustainable farming, together with their smart approach to selling and distributing their products, has created a solid foundation in these rocky financial times. We have a larger vision to try to keep these farms in operation. And I think that because we have this larger vision, the people who work here are committed to a bigger cause than a paycheck. A cause that, after more than a decade, is now widely understood and celebrated. No one wants a boring cheese. Yeah, that's for sure. For BNET, I'm Sumi Das.